Hey everyone, today we're going to work on the second to last problem of the introductory problem set from CSES, and that problem is called Chessboard and Queens. So we have to place eight queens on a chessboard such that no two queens are attacking each other, and sometimes the squares are reserved. So this is a very classical problem with a tiny little twist at the end. So to solve this problem, we have to first obviously figure out how to um, count diagonals and when we can place something on a diagonal or not. So to do that, we have to number the diagonal and figure out a good way of counting them up. So uh, first, obviously, we can find out that this diagonal is going to be 0. And this diagonal can be 1 and 2. And obviously, when we're counting diagonals, this pattern becomes apparent. Just the row plus the column index. So that becomes pretty. And we have at the end of the day 14 or max, we have 15 diagonals with uh, last index being. But what about the other way? These all, j all go in this direction. We're just counting diagonals in that direction. But to go in this direction, we have to come up with another formula and it's pretty simple so if you want this one to be the first one and then this one to be the second and this one to be the third then all we need to do is just take the row my or the row that's the row row minus the column and then add seven and then that works These should all be twos but um Row minus column plus seven. Row minus column plus seven. This becomes seven. And then row minus or seven minus zero plus seven becomes. So then it's just R minus C plus. And if you've done a lot of chessboard problems in the past, uh, this or will do. This is re uh, really important for counting diagonals. Similarly, the uh, R plus C over here is also really OK. So now let's start code. So well, we have our main template already out, as you can see, and we have the input output already gone. So let's first implement the uh, number of ways we can put queens on a chessboard, ignoring the reserved spaces, because uh, we can look up the answer to that on it on Wikipedia to test the answer. So let's do that. So first, we have to have um, the chessboard set up, and I am going to represent it this way. So we're going to have a column. And I'm going to make this uh, 16, just in case. Uh, and then diagonals, uh, we're just going to call it diagonal 1. And we're going to have 16, just so we don't have bounds errors on accident. And then diag 2. As well. And then, so first, let's clear out all that data, just in case. I've always found it a good practice to just make sure when you're implementing that, because sometimes you get crazy stuff. Well, I equals die one. I equal. Now you might wonder why I didn't implement um, row right there too, and that's because we're going to be looping through the rows and putting one queen on each row because that's required to put uh, eight queens on a chess on a chessboard. You have to have eight queens on all separate ro rows by the pigeonhole principle because if you have more than one in any of them that means that they attack each other and not by pigeon they just attack each other same one um uh let's see so we have that and then we will just search a zero first. okay and then i guess we should have long long or actually the maximum is 92 i happen to know that because 
done this problem before, but there are 92 ways, so we shouldn't fall into much of a problem with fitting it in. We're going to search, so we're going to search method, index of the row, or no, yeah, the index, the row that we are searching right now. So if the, we're going to actually call this R, just to make it. If R is the same as A, that means we've gone through everything. And therefore, we should add one to wait. And because we're not going to add one unless it fits, so we don't need to worry about checking it right now. And then uh, all we need to do is just return. So now if R doesn't equal 8, then for um, LLI, we're just going to loop through the columns now. I C equals 0, C is less than 8 because 7, and then C++. plus plus. We're just going to do... Uh, we're going to make all of these things true. So we're going to make full C equals, because uh, actually we don't want to be able to place it. So if any of these are true, full C or um, diag1, which is going to be R plus C, remember from earlier, or diag2, R or R minus C was it? It was R minus C plus seven. Um, R minus C plus seven. C seven. If any of those are true, then we don't want to do anything. So we just continue. Say continue. Otherwise, um, then we do full C diag one of R plus C, and then two of R plus C, and equals true. And then we're going to search R plus one, and then we're going to uh, cool. We're just going to basically undo that normal algorithm. Uh, and then at the end, we just out. Okay, so we haven't actually worried about input right now at all. So we're just making sure that at this point we get 92. So we press play and then building, and then we do indeed get 92. So now we worry about this input. So we're given a whole bunch of strings, in fact, just eight strings. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new thing called um, reserve. And that's going to be uh, eight by eight. Eight by eight. And then uh, we need to loop through that and make sure that it's false as well. So zero j. Eight. So nine. Let's grab that. No. Let's make it. So now we just want to make sure that the board is, or the reserve board is empty. Actually, uh, we don't even need to. We can just uh, grab the string here. Uh, we're going to call the string, uh, have we already used X? Nope. String. X. Okay. And then for each of the letters in X, we're going to, if X uh, A equals a period, then we want to say, uh, actually, we can just do uh, reserved J A equals this. And that'll say, true if it's a period so we want to say false it's a period and then it'll say true if it's an asterisk meaning it's reserved so now we just have to go up here and then add a additional if the um, r c is taken or not be reserved 
far as C is taken, then that means that we just continue because it's taken, right? Um, yes. Yeah, because it's taken, we just continue. We can't place a queen there. Um, and then now let's test it with this input. Let's grab the input and then press play. And then let's paste in the input and we get 65, which is the answer we want. So now we just submit and submit. And hopefully it's accepted. So that's going to be it for this second to last problem of the introductory section of CSES. And that was problem number 15, chessboard and queens. If you liked this solution, give it a like, uh, subscribe, and if you have a better solution, comment down below. That's it. See ya.